to announce a huge breakthrough in professional development for the accounting profession and explain how you can now grow your careers and firms all through taking a people-first approach. In preparing for today, I've been thinking a lot about my own growth as a professional and reflecting on a time when earlier in my career, I was standing on a stage much like this one. The slight difference is that the house was completely empty. It was 10 minutes before showtime. The stage lights were incredibly blinding, but I could see that there wasn't a single soul in any of the chairs. And it was in that moment I realized that I needed to increase ticket sales. <laughs> so a few short months after graduating college, I got my first real job working as a front of house manager at a local theater that was slightly underperforming. Um, so let's just say that I had some free time on my hands. So with my empty house and an empty till, I distinctly remember opening up my laptop and typing in marketing for theaters. After some trial and error, a few of my efforts did pay off and more and more patrons came through the doors. And one of those patrons was Sara. Sara was and still is the executive director of a nonprofit microlender that provides startup capital and business coaching services to first time entrepreneurs. And in talking to Sara, I just became fascinated with what she did, especially the business coaching part. And I started realizing that my career in arts administration might be short lived. But what would someone like Sara see in me with an art history degree and an understanding of how to market off, off, off Broadway shows? Well, what Sara saw in me was my potential. What Sara saw in me was my creativity. And what Sara saw in me was a strong foundation. Sara ended up hiring me for my potential. She then invested in my professional development to close those gaps in my knowledge and then brought that learning to life through mentorship. Let's see if I can. Here we go. So Sara hired for potential. She invested in professional development and she brought that learning to life through mentorship. This is the path to people-led growth. If you're a leader who's looking to grow your firm, hire for potential. Invest in your team's professional development, then bring that learning to life through mentorship. Let's talk about hiring for potential. Rather than hoping that the perfect candidate will apply to your job posting, I encourage you to look beyond those traditional technical skills and evaluate your candidates holistically. This is such an important mindset shift for, for, for firms in today's historically tight labor market that Luke talked to us about earlier. So here are three questions that you can ask that can help unlock your talent pipeline. First, does the candidate have shared values with my organization? Hiring is a huge investment. Do you agree? Yeah, it's huge. And you want someone who's in it for the long haul. And this means ensuring a values fit right up front. Next, I have the soft skills needed to really work with my clients and understand their needs. We talked about this a lot yesterday during the People Advisory Certification Track. No matter the role, soft skills are increasingly important. This is how you build trust and rapport with your clients, which is ultimately the true currency of any professional services firm. And last, are they comfortable with technology? Whether this is managing your client's app stack or feeling comfortable in our remote world of work, ensuring comfort with technology is key. So in hiring for potential, oh, sorry, let me not forget this stat. By evaluating your candidates holistically and looking beyond those traditional technical skills, you're bound to build an increasingly diverse team. 
and diverse teams are proven to outperform those who are not by 50%. 50%. So when hiring for potential, there may be some skills gaps that you'll have to fill. This was certainly the case with myself. So let's connect the next dot with professional development. Think about a college graduate who understands everything there is to know about debits and credits, but doesn't know the first thing about cloud accounting. Or someone in your firm who's ready to become an advisor but they need some coaching on the soft skills to really step into that role. No matter the role, no matter the hire, we all need professional development to advance in our careers. So if you're a leader who's looking to grow your firm, which I think you all are, I encourage you to invest in professional development across these three phases of the employee journey, at onboarding, developing and retaining. Onboarding is a no-brainer, right? Your new hires need specific skills for the job, and these are very likely technical in nature. When I first started working as a business coach with Sara, I needed to learn how to help clients navigate their loan docs or create a statement of cash flow. In my observation, the accounting profession does a great job of onboarding new hires. Many firms that I've talked to here, Laura and Peyton and many others are actively creating training plans for their firms, for their new hires, and asking them to get certified in their tech stack. And this type of technical training matters. You're giving your new hires the skills that they need to be successful on the job, which sets them up for success. And by celebrating those early wins, you can create this beautiful, virtuous cycle. In fact, research tells us that 85% of employees say they'll work harder and be more likely to continue learning when recognized by their manager. Pretty awesome, right? So this brings us to developing. As I sort of got my feet under me working with Sara as a business coach, I started seeing trends emerge from across our portfolio of clients. And I started feeling like, okay, I've got this. I know how to help clients fill out their loan docs. I know how to help them create a statement of cash flow. But even though my confidence was growing, so was my sense of frustration. I wanted to go deeper and really give them advice, but I didn't have the skills. I didn't know how. And this is precisely where I see a lack of professional development across the accounting profession. I get it. If you're a firm leader, investing in this stage of growth may feel scary. It costs time and money and resources. But let me ask you this. What is the cost of not investing in your team? What's the cost of not investing in your team? If you are looking to build or grow an advisory practice, giving your team the training they need to build their soft skills and unlock their creativity is precisely what's needed to deliver the people advisory services that clients are now demanding. And better yet, there's even still additional upside. By providing your team with professional development, research from LinkedIn Learning tells us that your employees are 94% more likely to stay. Who wouldn't want this? 94%. And last but not least is retaining. So how do you retain your best talent? Okay, there's a theme here. It's professional development. I'll give it away. <laughs> um, there will come a point in which it's right to invest in your employees' ability to lead and to manage. And this could mean empowering them to launch your firm's people advisory practice. So by hiring for potential, then investing in your team's professional development, you're setting them up for success, you're more likely to retain your best talent, 
and your firm will be better positioned to deliver the people advisory services that clients are now demanding. And Gusto's here to support you every step of the way. To help you grow your careers and your firms, I am so thrilled to announce the launch of Gusto Academy. Can we give it up? All right. <laughs> Whether you're looking to onboard, develop, or retain your team, Gusto Academy is the home, your home for professional development that you need to unlock people-led growth. So please help me welcome my beautiful colleague, Amanda, to the stage, who will help me demo the Academy. All right. So let's check it out. All right, if we could cut over to Gusto Pro. Wait for it. All right, here we go. Okay, does this look familiar? Yeah, I should see some nods. Okay, this is Gusto Pro. This is your home. So once you're in Gusto Pro on the left-hand navigation, you'll see this awesome new tab called Professional Growth. So Amanda, let's head over there. When you pop open Professional Growth, you'll see Education. So let's head on in. Here we go, welcome. Welcome to Gusto Academy. This is it. This is your new home for professional development. All right. <laughs> Gusto Academy is a result of your feedback to our team, and we're so thrilled to be able to provide you with what you need to grow your careers and your firms. So now that we're in the Academy, let me introduce you to the three core learning tracks, which are payroll essentials for accountants and bookkeepers, people advisory for aspiring advisors, and practice management for firm leaders. Look, we get it. There is no one size fits all when it comes to your professional development. So choose the learning track that's right for you. Go deep, build your knowledge, then go broad. Stretch out of your comfort zone to grow your career. So let's go ahead and pop into payroll essentials. Payroll Essentials is an awesome learning track for accountants and bookkeepers who are really looking to build their core skill set on payroll, which matters when you realize that payroll is not taught as part of an undergraduate accounting degree, nor is it part of the CPA exam. So where else can you feel comfortable that your team has that knowledge needed to deliver this at the quality that you expect? In Gusto Academy. So in the Payroll Essentials track, let's go ahead and head over to our brand new certification program called Gusto Payroll Certification. Can I hear it one more time? Gusto Payroll Certification. <laughs> if you're new to working with Gusto, Gusto Payroll Certification is for you. If you're onboarding new hires to your firm, Gusto Certification is for you. This is where you'll build your core skill set on payroll, everything from employee onboarding to offboarding and everything in between, as well as gain that efficiency on Gusto's people platform. And by becoming certified, you'll earn four CPE credits. You'll earn a Gusto payroll certification badge, which matters because this gives you the ability to signal to your clients that you have the skill set required to really take care of them and their team. Um, and you'll also earn some fun goodies. But I'll leave it at that. Let me leave it with a little bit of intrigue. And if you're already a pro on the People platform, I know that many of you here are already partners but may still care to get certified, you can go ahead and pop into the fast track so that way you can test out of the learning path but still earn the badge and all of the bragging rights. So that is Gusto Payroll Certification. Amanda, let's head back over to the Payroll Essentials track. And here you'll find our newly minted electives. Electives are deep dives into specific topic areas that really help you go deep into an area of your choosing. So the two electives that we're launching with are onboarding new clients to Gusto, I've heard it's complex, and hiring in a new state, I've also heard that that's complex. Yeah. So once you've built your core skill set on payroll, Hopefully, you'll be looking to invest in your team's professional growth at that developing stage. And this is where you can send them into our next learning track, which is People Advisory. And it's here that you'll find our People Advisory Certification. 
So I think we already clapped for ourselves. But again, if you're one of the 3,000 people advisors who are currently certified, give yourself one more round of applause. We have completely reimagined our people advisory certification program to go far deeper into teaching you the soft skills and frameworks that you need to really help give clients that people and business advice. We had an incredible time at the certification track yesterday during Academy Day, and it was so invigorating to hear the conversations that were happening at the table about how people advisory certification gives you this whole new framework to think about not only how you serve clients, but about yourself. And with people advisory certification, you can either opt into our self-paced learning, which you can take at your own time, or you can take the live workshop, which is taught by our incredible ambassador team, who are none other than Carla Caldwell, Nio Carter Gray, and Keila Hill Trawick. Can we give it up for them? Yeah, they're incredible. So now you've built your team's core skill set with payroll essentials. You've nurtured their career with people advisory. And if you're a firm leader who's looking to grow your firm, head over to the practice management learning track where you can take our people advisory accelerator program. The accelerator program teaches you how to price, package, sell, staff your people advisory services so that way you can grow payroll revenue by up to 15x. We'll hear from Josh Lance in a little bit about how he did this at his firm. So I know that accountants are busy. You may not have the time right away to take a full certification program. And if that's the case, you can go ahead and pop into the course catalog. And here you can take a mini learning on a topic of your choosing. And this is just like taking a book off of a shelf. You can start with a mini course. It'll track towards your certification progress, and then you dive into the certification program when you're ready. And if you're looking to keep up with all of the programs that you're, that you're taking, you can pop into the profile, into your own profile. And here you can admire your certifications, which are pretty slick. If we could pop one open, Amanda. How cool is that? And something that I especially love, as you can see at the bottom, you can add this to your LinkedIn profile to the licenses and certification sections. You deserve it. You just took a big certification program. And you can even push it to your LinkedIn feed. Pretty slick. So let's go ahead and head back to the home page. So here's what I'm most fired up about. Whereas other academies are really all about sort of a click here, click there product training, Gusto Academy is about your professional development. In each and every one of our courses, you'll learn how to build efficient workflows, you'll gain mastery of the people platform, and you'll even have a chance to reflect in a custom workbook. We also know that learning in community matters, which is why all of these programs are infused with stories from our incredible community of accountants and bookkeepers. In fact, if we could cut to the video, I'd love for you to take a watch. The training that Gusto offers, it just opens your mind to the opportunities that are out there. The community at Gusto has really enabled me to step into my full role as a CEO, as the owner of an agency without a traditional accounting background. So now that we've partnered with Gusto, I feel like it has been a game changer. Thanks to Gusto, we feel empowered to have all of the training and technology that we need to confidently offer payroll services in our firm. I have everything I need to be able to continue to level up my skills and to offer even more complex payroll services to my clients. Gusto helps empower us by giving us the training and the resources we need in all things people and all things people advisory. People advisory has allowed me to be more empowered in my role as an accountant and a confidant for my clients. Once you start having those conversations, you're taking it to a different level with your client. We're opening the door for the clients to have a better business. We're opening the door for expansion of services. We're opening the door for their employees. People Advisory has opened my eyes that there is, there is a journey, there is a life cycle to pay attention to, and there's a lot of value in knowing it. I think it's honestly propelled my career a lot farther than, um, than I would have ever anticipated. People Advisory overall has changed my life. 
and being able to bring on several staff members specifically to my firm just for the People Advisory platform. Not only is our firm growing, but overall we're becoming the modern accountancy organization that I've dreamed of. I bet you saw some familiar faces in those videos. So if you see anyone today that you know, just give them a high five. We're all in this together. Hopefully you're as fired up about Gusto Academy as I am, as I know Amanda is. Amanda, if we could, all right. If we could head back over to Gusto Pro, let's show everybody how to get started just one more time. Go to professional growth, then click on education, and you'll be welcomed right into your new home for professional development. Let's give it up for Amanda. Amanda, thank you so much for joining me on stage. All right. So now with Gusto Academy, you can hire for potential. You can then invest in your team's professional development. But to achieve people-led growth, it's not enough. The last dot is mentorship. Mentorship is what help ensures that learning happens in the first place. And mentorship is what brings learning to life. Throughout my career, I've benefited tremendously from mentors like Sara, who have hired me for my potential, benefited from mentors like Misty, who have invested in my professional development, and I've benefited from people like Will, who have believed in me and poured into my career. Thank you. I feel so grateful to be here right now. Mentorship is all about you and your belief in your team. Every quarter, Will and I chat about my professional development. And doing this helps me pinpoint my hopes and dreams and then identify the trainings that I need to achieve my learning goals. On a more regular basis, we meet for one-on-ones. And I count on these to stay grounded because they give me space to reflect and to plan. And Will also holds me very accountable to the professional development plans that we put together. But he does this by making sure that I have the time, space, and resources that I need to achieve my goals. This is what true mentorship is all about. I know it's hard to zoom out of the day to day. But as a firm leader, this is part of your role. Part of your role is to be a mentor, and it is to help ensure that your team has the time, space, and resources that they need to achieve their goals. So this means doing more than just assigning a course and hoping that they'll take it. It means giving them the time they need to really dive into the learning and to make sure that that learning doesn't eat into their nights and weekends. And just as important is asking for their takeaways. What did they learn from the trainings that you assigned? And this is simple. It's as simple as asking for a key takeaway during one of your one-on-ones. It's this interchange that transforms learning into action. And as adults, that is why we learn. We learn to take action. We learn to grow. We learn to grow in our careers. So it's because that someone hired me for potential, it's because that people have invested in my professional development, and it's because of mentorship that I find myself once again in my career standing on a stage. Except this time it's with a full house. <laughs> <laughs> with a full house of my friends and colleagues and people who I deeply admire. It is such an honor and a privilege to contribute to the accounting profession and to help you achieve the professional growth that you deserve. Oh, I totally forgot about my slides. I'm so sorry. I got caught in the moment. <laughs> So now with Gusto Academy, you can hire for potential 
You can invest in your team's professional development, but mentorship is all about you and your belief in your team. And I'm confident that by connecting these three dots, you can achieve people-led growth. Thank you so much.